Now, I'm not saying philosophers are dumb, but do they really need to waste time and energy trying to figure it out what the sound of one hand clapping is? Really now? Plunk, or whatever the heck the sound effect is? I don't know, I don't pay attention to these things. Alright, so, last time... Last time, let's see, so, last time, we were exploring a lot of Castle B, finding basically all the scraps I had left behind before. There was also a bit of Castle A involved, but, you know, that that wasn't as important. We also got that big room down there done. See, see the big room below us? Yeah, we got that finished in both castles. So, now, last time I said that, uh, would... Okay, fuck off, Jar. Fuck off, Jar. Last time I said we would be finishing up. That's not entirely correct, because obviously I'm still doing that. Fuck off, Jar. Anyway... Fuck off, Jar. Fuck off, Jar. So, as I was saying... Actually, what was I saying? I got distracted by the damn urn. It just kept flying into me. You have to earn your right to vase me. Jerk. Anyway, so yeah. As I was saying before I was repeatedly interrupted, more exploration this time around, so probably a lot of cutting and... As long as I'm not incorrect this time, we should be getting everything finished up. Well, maybe I missed a few things, but you know what? If I get 100% map completion, I'm A-OK. -okay. Well, actually, it's technically 200% map completion, but whatever. Details, who cares about them? Okay, so we're back over here, because we haven't come through here, so let's fix that. And we go through the glazed blocks. A lot of money. Any more money I can get? What about an item? How about those? Well, there's a thing up there. When is this again? Big Mon Prism, right? I don't care about those, despite how much I use, uh, magic. And speaking of magic... Magic armor! Oh man, that, it's it's magical, it's freaking magical. Okay, so that's decent, but screw that. I got enough magic. By the time I'm done with my magic, I've already hydrostormed all I've wanted to hydrostorm. Plus, it's probably better that I don't hydrostorm all the time. Sometimes, the hydrostorm must stop. Oh, unfortunately, Lassie was in the same debt, so... We'd both be in the same boat, or in the same well, so to speak. Alright, well, anyway, let's just decorate Justice's room some more, and, uh, oh, look at that! Lucky cat, and some weird-looking... I guess that's supposed to be the raccoon? That can't be the raccoon. But where is the raccoon, then? Uh, yeah. Collectibles... I'm missing one thing. Okay, that's pretty awesome, I must admit. I am missing one freaking piece of treasure for room decoration. Well, it's treasure to just day, but, you know, I probably left already because, well, yeah, this is... This is yet another area where nothing is actually happening. Actually, something is happening, apparently, because I found another portal and some armor. Alright, moon armor. Armor affected by the moon. Okay. Apparently, I... The Game Boy Advance didn't have a clock, did it? No, it didn't, because, you know, whenever there was a clock, you had to set it manually, so it couldn't be like a day-night thing. So, what is it? And... Sun armor. Let me guess, armor affected by the sun. Um, that body, of course, derp. Sun armor, that sucks. What about moon armor? What about the... Okay, that actually goes up. Am I in Castle B? Yeah, the tints in this area is red, so... I think if I were to go back to the other area... Yeah, because see, I'm in Castle B, which I guess is technically the dark half, so... Therefore, the moon armor is slightly better in this area. And thus, in this area, the sun armor would be better. Okay, I think I get it, because that, that's the only thing that would make sense, because, you know, if this were a DS game, that would the other theory, you know, the day-night thing would probably work, but, you know, 
the, the Game Boy Advance didn't have a clock. And if there was ever a clock, you would set it manually, like in Pokemon. So yeah, yeah man, more yawning. More yawning. How will I yawn next time? Uh, okay, that's probably useless to me. Because, uh, yeah, we're, we're... Okay, so the same defense, but no other stats increase. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Go away, Spriggan. Lure key was used. Okay, well, let's see what's behind here. Oh, look, another teleporter. Well, that is useful, so... Eh, well, well, you know, I didn't get any items from it. And that, that is pretty awesome to have this, so... Yeah. Where to next, brown cow? Come on. I always ask you how now, and, uh, you know, you never answer that. So, answer a question, please. If you could. You know, it would only be polite. Alright, so there's a room down there that I'm missing. So maybe I should try to figure out how to do that. Alright, guys. So, yeah. You want to see what happens to this guy? You want to see what... Ah, oh, goddammit. Alright, so... Um, as I was about to say... Uh, yeah. I went off screen and I paused a bit and, uh, figured out what I was supposed to do and a few other things. Alright, first things first, I'm kind of an idiot. You know how we had to whip that guy backwards earlier and then there was another guy we had to lure in and hammer? Well, I didn't think of actually using this guy to my advantage, so let's do that now. Oh, this is bad for my back pain! So yeah, that opened up that passage. Another thing I could have done a while ago, but didn't because I'm an idiot. And what do you know, the merchant's here too. Alright, what do you got on this side? Uh... Seriously, this is it. This is all you have. Well, that was anticlimactic. All that time spent for that. Just all that time, and the only thing we get is fuck all that's useful. I mean, I guess we could buy the stuff, but what would be the point? Who cares? It, most of it looks stupid anyway. So yeah, so, a few other things. Those few other things I mentioned... We shall see them shortly. But first, we must teleport around. This is it! Why did I do that? <coughs> Alright, let's not accidentally push down right there this time. Okay, so... Our next area to go to would be Bone Corridor. So, I will meet you there. Alright, so... This is about where I need to go. Alright, so... Excuse me, dude. Alright, now... You see this area? Well, first I'm gonna use a save point, and then... There's actually a secret up here. Got a big monoprism and a life max up. Neither of which were things I was looking for, but uh, now we know the area is here, so... But there's an area missing up there, so I'm going to fill that out, and then I'm going to come back down here in Castle B and see what's up here that time. Alright... Alright, well, that was important. So, back to the other thing. Alright, and we're back over here in Castle B. I'm going to fall on Bonycon because that sounds like ever so much fun. You know, getting hurt is just such a blast. Alright, so, I guess we might as well save, and then we're gonna do... THIS! So, we get the secret summoning tome. I was gonna call it the Black Spellbook, but whatever. And then we're going to do... We're going to pick up an urn with, I guess, the awesome face or something. Sigh. All right. So, summoning tome. There was actually a card combination in uh, Circle of the Moon similar to this, I think. And apparently, holy water summons some chick who pours some water over the area. I guess that makes sense. 
Also, that's not the right ability. There we go. Got my Hydro Storm back. Always gotta have the Hydro Storm. Because if we don't, we all die. Alright, well... That's right. Just a... He does need no fucking elevator. Yep, he can go faster than it. And he can supply his own music. He is the ultimate elevator B. And also, he's good with Feng Shui. And now, it is complete! Now that there is a creepy urn staring the player in the f Okay, I'm getting out of here. That thing creeps me out. Just a... I normally trust your interior design skills, but... That? I think you're just desperate to place everything at that point, because that thing is seriously creepy. It's just looking at the screen, gazing into my soul. I don't appreciate it. I mean, it's my soul. I have privacy, you know. Jeez. But yeah, so... I guess this is the final walk to the final area. It's the finale. Ooh, interesting. But yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think there's enough time to really give any final thoughts on the game, because... Yeah, I'm pretty much here. Because, yeah, this, uh, that's the teleport room, and above me is the final area, so, yeah. <laughs> I got nothing to say. I'm just gonna go back to the save point and finish this stuff up, because, uh... <laughs> it's almost done, that's all I have to say, okay? You get it, I get it. Let's just go and get it over with, I suppose. Alright, so... Gonna dash over here. Um, what? Oh. Okay, apparently that's how you get into the final area in Castle B. You need to have all the Dracula pieces, which is easy because you should have them because they're great. Yeah.